Aeronautica, a game I am addicted to and have been grinding since early to mid-2022. Or something like that, but I have no clue. Well, anyways, I decided to take a huge break from it from roughly like mid-2022 to late-2022. And I have officially decided, best decision of my life. Well, anyways, is how one of my favorite YouTubers put it, is... Have you ever wanted to play a game that was as agonizing as being tased in your genitals? Or drinking orange juice immediately after using mouthwash while still being tased in your genitals? Do you want to die? If so, I have the solution for you. You should play... Aeronautica. Well, Aeronautica is a game where you basically, how their motto says, train by fly. It's a pretty easy game from the beginning. You get licenses fairly quickly, I guess. Like when you start off as on the ultralight license. But when you get further into the game, it's a, yeah. And the thing is, that's not even the most. Twenty-eight thousand seven hundred sixty-eight. That's not even the most I've seen. I believe, I believe, I don't 100% remember that I have seen roughly 45,000, maybe 40. That is roughly 666.6666 hours. I mean, what in the actual f This game gets updates what feels like every other day. It's, I'm over exaggerating about that, but it just feels like that, cause... As of recording this, those updates started on February 5th, and it's currently March 22nd. They've had, I think it was 14 updates in a month and a half. For reference, in that amount of time, from February 1st to March 22nd, PTFS has had two, and Project Flight has had one. And one of Aeronautica's newest updates has probably been one of the largest updates so far, adding a completely new continent with 34 new airports. Alright, so now let's talk about the community in Aeronautica. Aeronautica usually has a pretty good community. I say usually because... <laughs> Anyways, the game may be addicting, it may sometimes have not that nice of a community, but the thing is, I love it. I find it extremely fun to play. I currently have the Hypermock Sonic Star as my best plane. And the community is usually actually extremely nice. Just sometimes things like that kind of end up happening. Also, there's multiple different licenses that you have to get, which I actually love that aspect about the game. And there, so you start off ultra light, then you go uh, single engine, multi engine. Single engine and multi engine are both propeller aircraft. Then you get to the jets, and then after that, after the jets, you then get to the supersonic transport. And overall, it's cool how it's just like that, like with all the licenses, because honestly, it's just a really fun part of the game. Also, like, getting rare aircraft is another really, really fun part, because like when I fly the SR-71 Blackbird or the X-15, it's really fun with the X-15 to just shoot up to 1.1 million feet, stall and come back down at around like like 7,000 knots and, and then explode, turning myself into a human meatball covered with a saucing of jet fuel, glass, and your yolk from your cockpit. And another fun part is overspeeding and blowing out my engine so I can do an emergency landing. You can do that with pretty much any plane. But yeah, to be honest, Aeronautica, one of the absolute best flight simulators out there, 
that you can possibly get. And the map is so massive because they take advantage of using 1 to 8 scale. For reference, PTFS uses 1 to 2 scale, so it's so it's half as small as Roblox normally would be. So that you don't get what's called the floating point error, which is when you glitch out and your character starts getting wrinkly and everything. And Aeronautica takes advantage of using 1 8 scale to have a much larger map, which would take actually 12 minutes to walk across. I think it was 12 minutes with your regular avatar. But yeah, in the past like two weeks, I spent 36 hours on this game. It's insane. That's a well spent 36 hours. However, I could have spent 36 hours on weightlifting or running or getting more healthy going outside or even touching grass for the first time in my life. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go touch the grass for the first time in my life. See you guys. Bye.